Hello, River of Life. Again, uh, I've asked uh, Sister Betty to share today, so she's going to share some encouraging words in a moment. Uh, we are here practicing social distancing, uh, not from each other, but from the Udarians. This Chris is on the other side of the camera recording. Uh, I want to just make a couple of announcements. The first is just a continued reminder every night we're praying together at 830. Love to have you join us when you can. The women had their first Bible study yesterday in Jude. Um, I heard that it was wonderful, and so uh, ladies, if you're not a part of that, we want to invite you to join that. Um, our pantry will remain open, uh, serving the community, so pray for us, pray for protection uh, for those who are going to be down there serving, for Brian and Hutt and for others. And then finally, this Sunday is the first Sunday, and so we are going to do communion virtually, and I don't even know totally how that looks yet, but I want you to have some juice and have some bread or crackers ready while you're watching the live stream. And uh, we will figure that out and we'll direct you a little more then. Uh, but now Betty's going to share a little bit and uh, encourage us. Hello, River of Life and anyone else who's watching. Chris had asked me to do the encouragement today and I was very reluctant because I did not want to be on social media and I wasn't sure that I would be encouraged enough. Uh, because I've had some ups and downs um, but I said I'll just be honest and share what has been helping me one of the things that helps me every day is music I love music and um, so I've been listening to a lot more music these days blasting it in the house and listening to it on my headphones and I wanted to share a few songs that have helped me um, the first song that's in my playlist that I wanted to share about is called Surrounded. And it's written by Michael W. Smith. It says that even though we might be surrounded by our circumstances, and in this case it's the coronavirus, um, we are still surrounded by God everywhere and all the time, and that he's fighting our battles. Um, the second song I wanted to share about is Make Room, and that one is by Jonathan McReynolds. In that one, he talks about making room for God in our lives because he should always be the priority. Lately, everyone seems to have extra time on our hands, and um, I wanted to challenge you to see if you're using it wisely. Before, when I first started with all this extra time, I was working on work, purging, cleaning, cooking, binging Netflix, reading and watching too much news um, but I wasn't usually using my extra time to spend with God and to get to know him more and so I've been trying to do that and lastly uh, the song that I wanted to read some lyrics about is he giveth more grace and that song is based on three verses I'm going to read those verses to you the first verse is James 4, verse 6. But he gives more grace. Therefore it says, God opposes the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. I feel that uh, we all are being humbled uh, by this disease and sickness. And um, we need to rely on God for more grace. The second verse is Isaiah 40, 29. He gives power to the faint and to him who has no might, he increases strength. Um, I feel that we need physical strength and emotional strength to go through this uh, hard time. And the last verse is Jude, verses two. May mercy, peace, and love be multiplied to you. And that is the blessing that I'm praying for each of you. The words to the song, which was first a poem, was written by Annie Johnson Flint. She was a woman that had become a Christian at a young age, but she lost both her parents and her adoptive parents at a young age. When she became a young adult, she was a teacher, but she lost her job due to physical sickness, and she was unable to teach her students anymore. So instead, she began to write cards and poems to encourage other people. And many of those poems became hymns and songs. And He Giveth More Grace was shared 
with me by a friend who's going through some hard times with her parents being sick. And I was reminded of the words because it's my parents' favorite hymn and they sing it often. The words say, He giveth more grace when burdens grow greater. He sendeth more strength when the labors increase. To added affliction, he addeth his mercy. To multiply trials, he multiplied peace. His love has no limit. His grace has no measure. His power, no boundary known unto men. For out of his infinite riches in Jesus, he giveth and giveth and giveth again. The second verse says, when we have exhausted our store of endurance, when our strength has failed, ere the day is half done. When we reach the end of our hoarded resources, our Father's full giving is only begun. And finally it says, fear not that, they, that your need shall exceed his provision. Our God ever yearns his resources to share. Lean hard on the arm everlasting, availing. The Father, both thee and thy load, will appear. I hope uh, that you will find some encouragement to know that God would not give us anything more than we can handle and that he's always there to lift us up and provide for us. We love you and we miss you and we can't wait to join you again and see you face to face.